Hey all today we have a Dyro BG30 that's feeding a little rough. Uh, it's only feeding rough in one spot right there. So that's um, I would say 100% guaranteed is the main gear. <coughs> so we're just going to open it up and find out. Move the handle on the uh, the spool. Now we can undo these screws and remove this cover. <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead and pull this uh, bearing off, and let's pop this piece off right here. And let's remove this screw here to get the spool shaft out but you don't really need to to um, to get the main gear out the screw looks funny I'm sorry <laughs> looks like it's a little bent so we'll have to change that I'm gonna pull this shaft out and as I was saying, you don't need to remove the shaft to remove the uh, the main gear, but we need to get to that pinion also just in case. The main gear and the pinion are two different metals. This is bronze or brass, excuse me, and this is some sort of hybrid or pot metal. So you may not need to change both of these things out to get it to work or feel uh, fairly smooth, but if I'm changing the main gear, I'm going to most likely change the pinion gear out as well. So let's just kind of clean this off and see if we can find anything on here. And sometimes you just can't see it, you just all you do is feel it. To our naked eye, we don't always see what we feel, so. But we'll double check. The roughing is <clears throat> is fairly slight, so it may be imperceptible to our eye. I see like a little spot right there. That could be the cause, right in that area. Anyhow, let's get these shims off. Now she ought to replace this and see how it feels. Along the way, I'm going to clean this up a little bit as well. So this might take a little longer than <clears throat> than you might want it to, but I'll show you how to remove this stuff. Let's get the screw off so we can get that nut off and and get the rotor off so we can change the uh, I'm sorry so we can check the so we can check the uh, the pinion as well but the fact that it's only happening on one spot on every revolution of the handle would signify the uh, the main gear only This just pop straight up. Sometimes it might be a little tight. Especially with that thread lock on there. Just gently rock it back and forth. So we don't damage anything underneath. And now we're going to remove this. <coughs> the dog portion of it. So we can get to the pinion. pull this up so I don't damage that pin that little wire on there and 
let's get this screw on then so we can get to the rest of it. Now we can remove the bearing cover and check our pinion out. Opinion looks okay, uh, but I think we're still going to change both things out. Okay, so let me, I'm going to pop this out so I can just kind of clean up here a little bit. Let's see if I can use this screwdriver to get it out. Then I'm just going to stick it back in after I clean inside. All right, that looks good enough for that. Let's do a quick one on this side. Okay, that looks good. <coughs> Let's go ahead and add some oil to these uh, to these bearings here. So we have some fresh stuff in there. Let's get our new parts. I gotta find a screw for that to replace this one here. I may have to pause the camera for a sec to find a screw. things even though it should be right that's good enough and let me see if I can find a screw for this I think I have one of those somewhere give me one second I think that's it. Yeah, good. Okay, so let's get this put back put back together. Let's stick one of these bearings in. Hopefully it stays in. Still need to take it out anyhow. 
I want to grease inside there a little bit. So let's just do that first. All right, so where the bearing sits, I'm going to grease. right here so I'll add some grease to this channel and in there as well and that's about all we need so let's do the uh, the top portion first. Get our um, our opinion on. Then we'll put everything back together on top, and then work on the bottom. All right. So where's our bearing? cover and the cover uh, let's see if I put this cover on before I put this piece in yeah mm. yep I should be able to all right so I'll take the cover on Now I'm going to stick this back in there. Be careful with these things because of the metal over time uh, just wear and tear and corrosion and salt the effects you can break those off pretty easily so just making sure there wasn't any washer under here and I don't think there was the Stay down. All right, good.
All right, so now we're going to stick this portion on here, and the way it sits is it's going to be like this. The notched end or the squared end will be facing up, so like that. And now we're going to clean this off and add some more grease or add some grease to this for where that wire sits. You want to get inside that groove right there. Just help them create a little bit of traction for that um, that spring or that wire that's that's housed in there. And the way that sits is just like this. like so. We've got a light amount of grease on this thing. <coughs> tooth or the end of the tooth there. I'm going to use more oil than anything else on here. That can kind of just work its way around there. So let's go ahead and stick that on. Now we can do the ratchet. I'm adding residual grease to the top and bottom of it. The ratchet is keyed as well. Let's get this out of the way. All right, that's on there. And now we can put this piece on. Make sure it fits in between those two prongs there. And double check it to make sure it's working. And that's it for that. <clears throat> Let's go and get the rotor back on and then we'll finish the uh, portion inside here. Make sure it's a flat side of the uh, of the nut that's facing down. Just line it up where the flat side is facing, one of those flat sides facing that hole so you can screw this back in. Alright, so let's go ahead and stick one of these bearings inside there. I'm going to use this one. Clean the shaft off a little bit. Definitely want to clean these teeth. Oil, 
I'm sorry, grease our main gear up. Get that ready to go back in. So let's go ahead and stick the this block inside. And it's gonna sit like where are we at like this. Add a little more grease down here. And now we can stick our main gear in. Just double checking some stuff here. Okay, that looks good. Looks like it should work. Let's go ahead and get the back of this greased up, then put these shims on and cover this reel up. Looks good. Putting it under the main gear, there's a little side piece there, overhang, to set that on. And now we can stick this, uh, this spool shaft in. Bend screw. This is a replacement here. Now we can put the side cover on. All right, so let's check it out. And see if we fixed our problem. Awesome. Now, since these are new uh, gears, they'll take some time to kind of break in. Uh, so there might be a general tightness of 
our feel overall. But this works perfectly. Nice. All right, I'm going to do a little bit of the rest of the reel. I'm going to fix up this a little bit just to make sure it's all working good. But that's basically all I want to show you guys. So thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, hit the like button, make comments, and tell your friends about the channel. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.